right, hello and welcome everyone. We're gonna do what's probably gonna be a short stream today uh, because one, it is the middle of the day. It's still kind of the end of my work day, so I got some more stuff to do. Uh, but two, uh, apparently Bird of Prey 5 is also streaming like right now. So uh, <laughs> it's probably gonna be a little bit short because of that. But the reason I'm doing it right now is because about a week and a half ago, I got something really special in the mail from Dr. Alex, and this is uh, it's his book, and I haven't opened it yet, but I'm really excited to open it. It's just I want to make sure that whenever I did it, it was a time when Dr. Alex would be around to get to see me see this and, and show it off. So I'll give it just a minute. Uh, and while I'm doing this also, I figured, hey, if you're going to do a stream, you might as well torture yourself a little bit more with everyone's favorite dolphin. No. No, not Darwin. I'm talking about Echo the Dolphin and just enjoy some good, wholesome fun of me beating my head against the wall as I fail over and over and over again to do just just the most basic stuff. And let me go ahead and mute that so it's not going off the whole time. Sorry. So let's uh, I'll go ahead and jump into the to dol uh, jump into Dolphin, jump into Echo the Dolphin. Wow. And then. In just a minute, we'll also go ahead and open the box up. And so I, I talked to Dr. Alex, and this was kind of the time when uh, we both had that I could actually do this, and he would hopefully be able to see it. Let me also say hi to everyone in the chat. How are you doing today? Uh, switch to live chat because no one wants to do top chat. I don't even know what that's about. John DeMarco, how are you doing today? Thomas Potts saying box. Alex, what's from the in? Yes, those are all of the important nouns and pronouns articles and what's the other anything a rabbit can do to a law would a preposition that's what it is and i'm not sure if you ever heard that but uh, when, when i was growing up they always taught us that a preposition is anything that a rabbit can do to a log a rabbit can go to the log a rabbit can come from the log and be in the log over the log under the log yada 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 now apparently you know young matthew's mind wasn't quite that sharp or else i would have also said uh, poop was a preposition because a rabbit can poop on a log. Anything a rabbit can do to a, do to a log. But uh, no, that, that doesn't work out. But it's still, you know, it sticks in the mind. Let's see. John DeMarco is saying, congratulations. I think I broke Tom. It's not quite. I don't think so, John. Rocks a lot productions. Saying that I want to watch the Deer Bop later. But as Thomas says, it's probably going to be eight hours from now. And in two hours, I'm wrapping up my day. So, uh, and after that, so after five, I love getting to spend family time, which is why if you try to talk to me from like five until 9 p.m. Central, you're not going to get anything out of me. Like on Discord, text, stuff like that. I just, I go silent for those four hours because that's the time I get to spend with my family at the end of the day. And I really, really treasure that time. That's also why I tend to go, go, go silent on uh, the weekends because I want to spend the time with the family there. So no offense to everyone out there. It's just, you know, priorities. Uh, Dr. Alex saying uh, YouTube had unsubscribed you from from my channel. I Man, I don't even know what's up with YouTube a lot of days. Let's see. Let's do my quick load so I don't have to remember things. It's like, why can't you just leave us alone? Assume that I'm going to be sub to the people I want to be sub to. and Just leave it at that. Let's see. That's right. So if I hold the B button down... It absorbs their souls. Yep, there we are. I just have to remember how to do this. And Thomas Potts, the other day, we were talking about what the <coughs> what the hungry ones are. And you were right. It is talking about uh it's talking about the sharks. So now if I do my sonar thing at the sharks, apparently that will confuse them. Uh, John DeMarco saying, watching Matthew fail at a game is wholesome indeed. It is. Rock Solid Productions is unsubbing. No, don't unsub. At least wait a little bit until you upsub. And Rock Solid, I don't know if you have seen me flail about at this game, but it is honestly quite funny. <laughs> Donnie Parson, how are you doing? Saying, life with Matthew salutes all. Hope everyone is well this afternoon on this final day of April. Is it really the final day? I guess it is. Wow. And happy National Arbor Day. You know, I remember growing up. I remember growing up. The end. <laughs> I remember growing up 
and being in like Boy Scouts and stuff and how excited we always were to do Arbor Day. Like we had, I don't know if everyone has this, but I'm going to pretend like they didn't. But I, I remember we had like a, what to call it? Um, uh, can I make it? Did I get everything? Nice. Uh, we had like, uh, the, the city put on this huge event where people would gather around. It was this massive, massive to-do thing. You could get your own trees and everyone be duly impressed by how well you took care of the environment. You know, stuff like that. Uh, but I don't think anyone does that anymore. Shoot, I need oxygen. Not in real life. I mean, I'm doing fine in real life. Okay, so I think we got enough people here. While I'm about to probably suffocate to death in the game, let me go ahead and open this. So this is a real cool thing that Dr. Alex was doing on his Patreon. If you signed up to be one of his supporters, he would send you, and you had to do it at certain tier levels. He would send you either a paperback copy of his book, The Doctor Reads the Doc, or the doctor reads the doctor by the doctor, something like that. Uh, well, I, I guess I can open it and tell you the exact name of the title instead of just being forgetful ducks over here. Uh, or if you signed up at a separate tier, he would give you or send you a, a hardback copy. So I went ahead and I really wanted to support Dr. Alex and I, I, I love hardback copy books. So uh, I, I went ahead and did the tier that would let me get a hard hardback copy. And I'm really excited to see how this turned out because I have not, I have not opened it yet. So let's see. Looks like it's just the box. Well, I mean, the box, the book in the box, obviously. I also, one of the nice things is that he said he would, he would uh, sign the copy. And I really wanted Darren Wagner to sign his copy, but unfortunately he wasn't doing anything like this at the time. Or else the paperback copy I got of uh, Darren Wagner's book, I, I would have also got him to, to sign. But this is The Doctor Reads the Doctor by the Doctor Season 12. Look at this thing. And I remember I remember the one you had, Doctor, Dr. Alex. Uh, it it had a uh, a sizing issue. So I'm very glad to see that you got got that fixed. And then it says on the back, the doctor awakens to discover a universe which is at once all too familiar and yet completely unlike that which he was expecting. Join him as he argues with himself, his companions and anyone else near enough to be drawn in all the while attempting to save a shattered and disintegrating universe. If this seems to be parroting something familiar, which has itself recently fallen apart and lost its shine, it probably is. <laughs> Very nice. And this is the parody of a once-beloved TV show. And yes, official signed copy. I, I love, I love it so much to get a, an official signed thing for, for just about anything. Like if... If I could get an original, like, signed id software game, I wouldn't even care which id software game, uh, by one of the designers, that would be awesome. Uh, anyone remember Commander Keen? I'd love to get an original signed copy of Commander Keen. Unfortunately, the only copies of Commander Keen I've ever owned until yesterday when I bought the pack off Steam, or GOG, was uh, <laughs> my brother had, like, we were, when we were kids, in modems for brand new things, he downloaded a thing called QM Pro, and we got the copies of shareware for commander keen it says for matthew for all your kind support the doctor reads the doctor by the doctor season 12 written by alexander i'm not even going to try the last name i'm sorry it's like it's a common last name it's just i see there's letters in there and i'm sure they make sense but i look at it and it's, it's just jumbled to me and it's edited by ella and another hard last name uh and it says dr alex smiley thank you so much for that and this is this is quite the book. This is 254, 55, 264 pages, 264 pages of just rewritten Doctor Who stories. This is I am looking so forward to reading this. I, I can't wait. So this is this is from the doc, Dr. Alex. If you go to his Patreon page. Uh, I think he's still doing this. There's two different tier levels. One tier gets you the paperback and the higher tier gets you the uh, hard copy like this. So I'm going to have so much fun reading this because I, I do love physical books. Like I, I do so much, I do so much stuff digitally nowadays 
but you you simply can't replace a good digital book or a good digital a good hard copy book a good physical book there's there's just no substitute for it now let's see i am currently about to die because i i got like no place to get oxygen come on there's got to be there's got to be something around here I guess if I can, if I can make it, I do see. Oh, am I going to make it? Oh, my gosh. Just barely missed it. Just just barely missed it. Uh, <laughs> John saying I go silent on Discord for longer than four hours. True. It, it's true. I'm not even going to try to deny that because it is all the true. Just all the true. <laughs> John saying reverse images makes it really easy to read. Uh, no, that's as you guys know. I hate uh, uh, whenever I look at myself over on the screen. There, I hate raising my my hand and seeing it come up on the opposite side. I just can't handle that. So I do <laughs> swap it. So y'all guys get to see wonderful reverse images, whereas I get to enjoy the actual stupid crab. What? What crab in real life would just go hardcore after a dolphin like this? Oh, and of course, there's a spike there. Nice, nice. And of course, I'm almost out of arrogance, so we are going to probably die. We're going to give it our best shot here. Dang, I thought I was doing good this time. Okay, take down that. Now let's see if I can't make it, make it, make it, make it. There we go. Okay. Uh, Leets is the easiest way to say it. Okay, Alex Leets. I hope I'm pronouncing that right because you spelled out phonetically for me. So here's hoping I can at least read phonetics. If I can't say phonetics. <laughs> Rock Solid Productions saying life with Matthew got lost talking about something good and hard. Yes, it happens. And uh, yes, my name now, thanks to the Anti Trekker, is Matthew Taserface Shortshanks. Uh, if, if you don't get that, go check out the Anti Trekker's channel where it will at least become less muddied. Oh. Okay, let's see. Where am I even going right now? I'm going toward a shark. Very good. And Dr. Alex, I am also very glad it arrived safely because that, that would have been less than ideal. Holy crap, that thing came at me out of nowhere, man. There's nothing even thing to do around here. This is a waste of area. Oh, this game. Okay. Dang. Go away, shark. Is he just going to chase me now? That punk? Uh, uh, Thomas, I look at myself when I raise my hands a, a little bit. Like, I, I check out what's going on over to the side there quite frequently making sure that the stream is working, there's nothing weird going on, stuff like that. And it really it really throws me off when it's not. Or, like, sometimes I will, uh, whenever we're doing the pub night and stuff, I'll have the screen up in front of me, you know, showing a as I talk to people. That way I can be looking at the people while I talk to them. You know, I'm, I'm weird like that. Am I stuck up here? Is this a dead end? Is that why they put the spikes so I can kill the dolphin i mean i'm not super opposed to that darn it okay so i i can kill the shark he doesn't kill me first ah Uh, Rockside Production saying, swap it, hit it, switch it, turn it, bop it. <laughs> I remember that game. I get that reference. 
Okay, how do I get below this point? Am I gonna get ganked by a shark right here? No, good. Okay, absorb the jellyfish so he doesn't bother me anymore. Absorb this one. Okay, there we go. And they really needed to give us more buttons in this game because it gets really, really boring to like have that ugh, you stupid stingray. It gets really annoying to have that every time I try to absorb them, the echo comes back and and uh, lets me see the area, which I don't need to see the area. I was just in the area. Okay, I need to go down. Can I fight the current? Okay, I have to be pointing straight down. There we go. Okay, I think now there was a... Oh, you've got to be kidding me! I hate these crabs. Uh, John DeMarco, <laughs> we get to enjoy this stupid crab. Apparently. Let's try this. Try this again. Okay, I can do this. Uh, I'm not ignoring the chat. I'm actually doing halfway decent on reading the chat today. Halfway decent. Let's let's save here, even though I'm like at zero health. And Dr. Alex saying, I'm also glad that you stuck around on the lower Patreon tier. Uh, yeah, I... You know, I, I do try... Uh, this is not, this is not supposed to be like any sort of like giving anyone guff. But personally, if there's if there's a content creator out there I like, I do I do try and spare like a buck or two. Um, at least at least especially when they're small, when they're super huge. Like there's a lot of channels I like that are just ridiculously huge, and I don't feel overly guilty about not being part of the, you know, five million people they have on their Patreon. You know. But for, for the smaller ones, I do, I do try to make a point of, like, being able to spare what I can. <laughs> hey, Anti Trekker, how are you doing? Uh, saying, of course, I make him wait until eight thirty, but I stream dolphins all day. Really, really, uh, halfway, halfway true, halfway true. And I'm going to die here in just a second, because this is just, I swear, this game is, this game is out to kill you. Like, not, not just, that's kind of a dumb statement. Every game is out to kill you. That's the whole point of a game. But this game is, like, punitive in the things it does. Like that. I just lost this stupid spiky things because a crab showed up. And it, it knew! I knew you'd be shooting the sound waves and make you lose your junk. I hate, I hate that. Oh well, we'll, we'll see if I can't do it this time. Oh, gonna blow right by them. Okay then. Recharge the old air there, and if if you don't, if you don't hit them quick enough, they disappear on you. Oh, lovely, lovely. Now I get to deal with the. Stingray that were all through here. And I lost the spikes! Dang it! And I lost the sound. What's up with that? I lost the, the background music. I guess the game decided I didn't want background music. Thomas Pod saying, hey, short shanks, trying to avoid things. I think that is solid advice that I will I will absolutely do my best to follow there. Thank you. Let's see if I can't keep up with it. Ah. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Crap. I'm going to kill these dolphins, these whatever they are. And I'm out of air. Double crap. <sighs> Rock Solid Productions wants to know, 
how much better this would be look on a GVC, uh, GVC <laughs> hold on. You know how much better this would look on a G JVC XI with SHART, I think you mean SCART cables and a RetroTINK 5X. Uh, you know, honestly, there is, dang those crabs. There is a, an interesting question. Would this look any better on a connection like that as opposed to the existing connection we get uh, through emulation? And I think there's an argument to be made either way. That yes, there is a... Uh... Ah, shoot. There's a lot you can do through an emulator like this. Because this is 100% emulation. Uh, it's official emulation, but it's still emulation at the end of the day. Where am I taking these stupid things to? Over here? It went away because I looked at my... Uh... You guys all saw it. It literally disappeared because I stopped to look at a screen. This game is... This game is mean. Uh, Rock Solid Productions say, yes, because emulation is piracy and you shouldn't look at yourself in the mirror when stealing someone else's content. But not all emulation is piracy. Like, this is emulation, but it's officially licensed emulation. So, not all emulation is equivalent. I'm, I'm getting so pissed off at these stupid eels or stingrays. They're just tearing through my health. Okay, we're gonna, there we go, absorb that one. Absorb that one. I'm not ignoring you. Uh, at least not on purpose. No, no more eels, stingrays, whatever the heck they are. Uh, and a trucker saying, now I'm seriously considering starting a short shank stream on YouTube just to compete with Matthew. Well, I, I won't be doing this for long, so knock yourself out. Uh, which means not literally, obviously. Don't literally knock yourself out. Just do as you please. Might have to change what movie we're watching tonight. Uh, I am quite curious as to what movie it's going to be. It's a surprise one. I don't ignore everyone. I don't ignore anyone. I'm just bad about reading chats. It's an, I feel like that's a really important distinction. Like, uh, you know, there are some streams when you have 10,000 people on the stream. And yeah, they, they just, they absolutely ignore the chat. Unless someone super chats them. It's 100% ignored, you know? Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. What the heck? Thomas Potts is claiming he told me what movie it was. I don't, I, I just don't know if I have deciphered your, your emojis correctly, Thomas, or if I actually believe that that's what it's going to be. Like, it wouldn't be the first time you've, you've pulled a fast one. I mean, you don't even have to do a super fast one. You can, you can do a slow one, and I'll I'll be fooled by it usually. Okay, there we go. As long as we can get that first one gone, that's all I need. Now let's see. Do I have any air down here? No, I need to back up and actually, actually get some air before I die. Because I am. Ooh, I may have just. Oh, no, I may have just killed myself. Ooh, that was close. I did a quick save when I have no health and no oxygen. That could have definitely gone the wrong way. Okay, let's, let's eat some fish. All right. Full health, full oxygen, and just a fool in general. What am I even doing here? 
Uh, John DeMarc, I don't ignore everyone. I just don't read chats. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's a really important, really important distinction. And Anna Trigger saying, life with Matthew, you have to admit, Shortshanks does look a lot like you. Uh, you know, if I was a green avocado, yeah, I would definitely say that is what I would look like. Ha! Got you, dumb crab. Okay, I'm supposed to be finding, like, a whale or something? It's supposed to be down here somewhere. Thomas Pot saying, Rock Solid never ignores you in the chat. Well, that's because Rock Solid is just a professional. Not just a, uh, a slub like the rest of us. I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Am I, am I going in circles? I think I am going in circles at this point. And running out of oxygen. Oh, crap. More of those spikes. More crabs. Okay. Okay, that's that's where I'm gonna have to use the spikes. Absorb the jellyfish just to get them out of the way. There was oxygen over here. Oh crap. Uh where's some oxygen? Oxygen is way far away. Dang. Can I get can I get an air bubble? No, nope. nope, I cannot. I'm just gonna have to make a run for it. There we go. <laughs> Professional amateur, maybe? No, I, if you can keep up with chats, I mean, that's half the job, I feel like. Okay, let's see if I can't get these spikes. And let's see, where are they supposed to go? Somewhere? Shoot. Look up, you dumb dolphin. Okay, that is... This is a huge region in favor of not emulation. Real randomly, the dolphin just won't look up. Like, I, I'm, I'm pushing up on the control stick, nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Like, right here. Maybe it's an issue of space, where if there's, there's not enough open area above him, he just won't do it which I would argue is a pretty big design flaw, you know, in the event that, say, you are trying to get these stupid spikes to go somewhere and it gets stuck right there and you want to, you want to get them out, maybe, just maybe, you would want to look up a little bit. <sighs> oh, we'll try again. Okay, quick load. Not into the... There we go. There we go. Let's save it like this. There we go. And let's head up because that should be an air pocket. Very nice. Let's see. Dr. Alex wants to know if anti trucker got anything interesting in the mail. And apparently... Maybe he can go to the post office tomorrow. And Anti Trucker, I'm actually, I did watch your video today, and I'm very glad to hear that. Uh, kind of a mixed bag of news right now. Hopefully, that news continues to improve and that it is the lesser of the like three possibilities they're thinking right now, which isn't that just lovely? It's like, oh, hey, there are three things that could be wrong. One of them is really bad, one of them is marginally bad, and you know, one of them is so so. We're not, we don't know which, but it's definitely one of those three. And you're just like, oh, that's, that's fantastic. Thank you for that. Uh, Rockstar Productions is saying, no, I don't ignore anyone in chat, and I play the games competently, and don't run out of off air, run out of air and die all the time like I with Matthew. No, Rockstar, I think, I think you should, you should play some Echo the Dolphin next chance you get. Let's see, let's see just how good you are at this masterpiece of a game. Can I call it a masterpiece? It's some, it's some sort of piece of game. There we go. Please tell me I'm almost to the stupid whale. Oh, hello whale. 
<laughs> John DeMarco is saying that's from problematic anti-crab hate speech. Uh, Big Blue is very old, very wise. Go north. Okay. How? I'm pretty sure this game lets me go left and right. Uh, not so much. Or do I, do I follow him? You want me to follow you? No? <laughs> Rockfellow is saying, I can give you an air bubble for my booty. I appreciate the offer. But I don't think... I don't think that's how it works in this game. Oh, hey, there's dolphins. I thought they were sharks. Do they give me anything if I talk to them? I mean, I don't really care about them if, if they don't. No, they're just frolicking dolphins. Little jerks. You know, between this and... uh. You know, honestly, just this. Darwin the Dolphin is annoying, but this game has really gotten me to detest dolphins. Uh, Thomas Paz is saying, I have to go. I most likely not see you all for over a week. Well, Thomas, take care. I hope that you're at least going to be doing fun things. Oh, crap. Sharks. Do you see? Okay. At the end of the level, half half a screen away, from the ending the game, or from ending the level, like at the finish line, two sharks went out of nowhere and attack you. This game is a jerk because so many people would have been like on their last health, and those sharks would have come up and killed you right at the end of the level. And the actual Sega Genesis doesn't let you cheat like I do with the quick saves. That that would have been torturous. Where's the fun in this? <sighs> so so frustrating. Uh, but I am gonna I am gonna stop there. Like I said, this was gonna be a real short stream today. Uh, I just wanted to play a level of Echo and open this really, really amazing book from Dr. Alex. And I I really look forward, Dr. Alex. Thank you so much for signing this and sending it. Uh, and I look forward to reading it along with Darren's book, which I've yet to finish. Um, finding time to read is difficult. Which I, I've actually been listening to a lot of audiobooks on my rides these days. And it, it has been nice to have everything on audiobooks so I can get on my bike and just ride and ride and ride and still be able to, you know, read something. Uh, Roxal is saying, I was playing Mortal Kombat and EWJ2 or Earthworm Jim. Okay. On my JVC XI with SCART cables and my OSSC yesterday. Very cool. Very cool. I need to. I, gosh, I have so much stuff I need to do. So right now, my my work area, I am just covered in these little jumper wires. Let's see if I can. So I, I've been working with these these itsy bitsy tiny little jumper wires here. If I can get to focus on it instead of me. Come on, camera. There we go. So I've been dealing with that. And what, I, what I've been doing is I, I found one of these nice opportunities where my professional life and my work life overlap. So I've been trying to get some data off a GPS unit. I've been having the worst luck. Uh, I got one GPS unit from Adafruit and it was just, it was garbage. Absolute garbage. Uh, I don't know if it's just that the unit itself is really low quality or if there's something wrong with the one I got, but I ended up getting a different one from SparkFun, which is a, a Zoe M8Q, which I've been a lot more impressed with, except the first one I got, uh, there's a signal called a pulse per second, and then you can use it to set up a time server, basically. Make sure you have really accurate time. And the, the pin wasn't working on it. Like, something was wrong with the pulse per second, so I had to get a second one, and I'm going to return this one. I have, like, a whole host of things to return. But I'm just I'm just covered in cables and little electronical parts right now. But I really want to to do several modding things I've been waiting on. It's just it's just find the time to get it done. You know how it goes, guys. Uh, but I, I do think it'd be really fun because I got a, a Sega Genesis mod I want to do. And I've been thinking about the way I'm going to do it, because typically you have two main options. You can either lift the pins that are outputting the signal, your red, green, blue uh, signal, and then your sync signal. Or you can like try to cut it and tap into it some other place because they, they put the 
they put the traces like right next to the 12 volt line i want to say like i actually i actually did some some testing and i noticed they, they literally put the video signals right next to the voltage line uh Actually, it was between two voltage lines. One was between the 120 volt AC line going to the power switch, and the other was uh, the the 12 volt signal. So obviously, you get a lot of noise on these Sega Genesis. So a lot of people lift those pins and then send it straight to a better circuit, and it, and you get a better quality that way. But you lose the ability to do just regular um, composite video with the yellow cable. So I've actually been looking at a way to do some high speed switching stuff such that through a, a single switch on the back, I can select if I want to send it through the existing circuitry and get a little bit crisper composite or send it through the uh, amplifier circuitry and get a very nice red, green, blue signal. Um, no, no, never, never cut the pins. Lift the pins. Lift the pins. Thank you, Rockstar. Lift the pins. Cut the traces is what some people do on these old Sega Genesis. Uh, but what I'm looking at is uh, I'm looking at lifting the pins and then actually having uh, two of these two of these switchers set up such that one completes the trace back out and the other one will uh, send it to my my amplifier circuit. And then I also need to to uh, I, I got a Nintendo that I'm going to build like from scratch. So I got all the parts for it. The thing that's holding me up is the the way the Nintendo was made, the, the connector, you can't take the console port pin where you plug in your controller, controller port, excuse me, and the wires on the inside go to a custom five pin adapter, except no one makes that adapter anymore. So you have to desolder it from your existing Nintendo and onto the new one. And it's so weird to me that they've made a, they've made this board completely from scratch. I'm like, why didn't you make a different five pin connector? Like just as part of the build process, it's easy enough to cut off the existing little jumper and solder on a new actually match up jumper. So I don't know why he did that, but I'm trying to find one. And ideally, if I can make it quick release, I mean, that would certainly be nice. But uh, I, I definitely don't want to just solder the wires straight to the board. And I don't want to destroy one of my old Nintendos just to do this proof of concept thing. And once I do that, I also want to add in uh, a, not the HDMI mod for it, but a, it, it will make a, it'll bring my, my uh, Nintendo up to at least RGB for SCART, basically. So that's, that is, uh, you know, some things I want to do is just find the time to do that. Uh, Andy Trucker saying, Matthew ignores anything about crabs or bikini bottoms or sponges. It has nothing to do with the movie tonight. Oh gosh. Uh, I was really hoping Thomas was lying about that. Oh, he, he put in some emojis. It was like a, a pineapple and a crab. And like, oh, the only thing I can think of here is SpongeBob, but I really don't want that to be the movie for tonight. <laughs> Rocks all after Doug say, oh, look at me. I'm a flipping dolphin. Yeah, they're just dolphins are so annoying. And yes, John, Darwin was very annoying, especially in that first episode. He's such a merry... Mary, Mary Sue, uh, Mary, a uh, tuna Sue. He's such a tuna Sue. Uh, component signal, not red, green, blue. What a new, ha ha ha. True enough. Uh, solder. No, I will forever pronounce the L solder. And when Matthew is done rambling, check out Anna Trekker and the adventures of short shanks indeed. And that is actually where I'm going to end my rambling and get back to work again. Thank you so much to uh, Dr. Alex for the incredible book. And uh, thank you for joining me on this very short stream. Everyone take care. I will see you tonight over on the anti Truckers channel where we will be watching a movie. Possibly SpongeBob, apparently. Hopefully not. But at the very least, a movie at 8.30 p.m. on his Twitch channel, most likely, I believe. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you will, and be sure to hit that bell icon to be notified of all the updates I do on this channel. If you want to support the work I'm doing here, then I hope you'll consider becoming one of my Patreons, where you'll get early access to all kinds of videos. And until the next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.